Unraveling the Mystery, Understanding, Conjuring Curses. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into an intriguing and somewhat mystical phrase, Conjuring Curses. This video aims to unpack its meaning and usage in English, making it a breeze for you to understand and use it in your conversations. So, let's get started on this fascinating journey of language exploration. Conjuring curses combines two powerful words, each with its own rich history. Conjuring refers to the act of calling upon or bringing to mind something supernatural, often through a magic ritual. It's like summoning something that's not normally visible or present. On the other hand, curses are expressions or words believed to bring bad luck or misfortune. They're often seen in folklore and tales of witchcraft. When put together, conjuring curses paints a picture of invoking harmful or malevolent forces, typically in a magical or mystical context. While the phrase might sound like it belongs in a fantasy novel, it's sometimes used metaphorically in everyday language. For instance, someone might say, he's always conjuring curses, to imply that a person often brings about their own misfortune or negativity, as if by magic. It's a way of saying that someone seems to have an uncanny ability to attract or create trouble, without necessarily implying they're actually performing magic. This phrase is steeped in cultural and historical connotations. Throughout history, the idea of curses and magic has been both feared and revered. In many cultures, curses were taken seriously, and the act of conjuring was often left to those believed to possess special powers. Understanding this background can add depth to your comprehension and usage of the phrase, especially in creative or literary contexts. And that wraps up our exploration of conjuring curses. This phrase, rich in imagery and history, can add a touch of mystique to your language. We hope this video has been enlightening and that you can now confidently use and understand this intriguing phrase. Keep on learning and expanding your linguistic horizons, and remember, language is not just a tool, it's an adventure.